Hello. It's been a while since I've uh, made a video, but I'm doing it again because we've got a new trailer. So I'm just going to loop this in the background of the video. Um, and I want to talk about my thoughts on this game. And I want to talk about um, where I think that it falls on the timeline. So definitely make sure to stick around and subscribe because when this game comes out, I'm going to make a few videos on it. So first, let's talk about my thoughts on the game. Um, I think that this is a good example of Nintendo listening to their fans, which is not something that we saw a lot with Tears of the Kingdom. Um, but it is, it is a good trend. Um, it, it seems like we're going in the right direction because, you know, a lot of people have been asking for a playable Zelda and that is now what we're getting with this game. Uh, but they're also not totally abandoning past games like they did with Breath and Tears because um, the game, you know, you still get to play as Link for parts of it, according to a leak, um, according to ESRB. Um, so they're not completely abandoning 2D Zelda, which, by the way, we haven't had a 2D Zelda game since 2015 with Triforce Heroes. We haven't had a single-player 2D Zelda game since 2013 with A Link Between Worlds. And we haven't had a 2D Zelda game, or a 2D Zelda game that didn't have an obvious timeline placement since Four Swords Adventures in, I think, 2004. I could be wrong on that num that day. Um, so this is very exciting. Um, and it, it's going to be interesting to see um, whether this is a success or a failure, um, you know, both economically and as a game design. Um, I think that it's going to sell pretty well, probably better than any past 2D Zelda game. Um, I I do think that um, at some point it's going to get repetitive spawning enemies like this. Um, like eventually you're just going to come up with an enemy that's so strong it can kill every other enemy or you know there's going to be a trade off of speed for um for you know effectiveness like it might be that there's a really strong enemy but it's really slow um and you know I just I'm worried that the combat system won't be great but Maybe, maybe I'm just spitballing and maybe it'll be great. I don't know. Maybe it'll be like a puzzle to figure out which enemies work against which other enemies. Um, let me put this on loop here. Uh, um, so yeah, I, I am cautiously optimistic about this game. Um, and I am excited. Um, so let's, let's shift the, uh, discussion to, uh, the timeline. So, if you notice, um, we have a pig Ganon, uh, wielding the trident, which would initially seem to scream downfall timeline, but also don't forget about every Zelda theorist's worst nightmare, Four Swords Adventures because that game also has a pig Ganon wielding a trident. And I think it's pretty obvious that this game, um, Ganon does not have the full Triforce. Like, we would be able to tell, and, you know, I don't know if Zelda and Link and Ganon each have a piece, like, like in Ocarina of Time, or maybe Zelda has the full Triforce, maybe that's what Tri is. Maybe, um, 
maybe it's just not found in the game, like like in Breath and Tears, you know. We got a lot of Triforce imagery in those games. Um, and then here's the other thing. The map bears a strong similarity to A Link to the Past, which is in the Downfall timeline, but a lot of these elements, let me show you, the elements that are similar to um, A Link to the Past, like the Eastern Palace over here, and this rock formation, Hyrule Castle being in the center, um, the mountains in the northeast, uh, the lake in this area, those are all geographical similarities which are shared not only by A Link to the Past, A Link Between Worlds, and Echoes of Wisdom, but they're also shared by Four Swords Adventures. In that game, the Eastern Palace is, well, in the east. There's this rock formation. There's Hyrule Castle in the center. There's a frozen lake in um, Four Swords Adventures, which could turn into what this is. So, I... I've heard a lot of Zelda theories suggesting that this could be a prequel to A Link to the Past. And the problem with that is that, at least according to the Zelda timeline as we currently have it, you can't just stick Echoes of Wisdom in between Ocarina of Time and A Link to the Past. Because um, at the end of Ocarina of Time, to cause the downfall timeline, Link dies. And uh, Ganon takes the full Triforce and there's a war fought over it called the Imprisoning War, which is not the same war as we saw in Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, just has the same name. Um, the thing is, is that if, if this game is supposed to be prior to A Link to the Past, it can't secede Ocarina of Time because, well, Link dies in the Downfall timeline. So we should not have an incarnation of Link. And also the sages, not Link and Zelda, are the ones who sealed Ganon uh, at the end of the Imprisoning War. And also, we know that the Imprisoning War caused a lot of races to leave Hyrule. Um, the Lake Zora, and uh, the Gorons, some of them, and the Gerudo all left Hyrule because of the Imprisoning War. Um, and so they are not seen in the Downfall timeline except in, um, except in the Oracle games, which take place in Halodrum and Labrina, uh, which are neighboring Hyrule, but not in Hyrule. So it can't really make much sense that this game would be set during the Imprisoning War either, um, because... I mean, clearly there's something going on, but I just I just can't buy that Ganon has the Triforce in this game based on that he was defeated so easily and that there is a link. So I definitely don't think that it's in between Ocarina and A Link to the Past. Now, another timeline theory that I've seen is that it comes after A Link Between Worlds, but before um, before the tragedy of Zelda 1. Um, and this, this could make sense, um, except for one little thing. If you look at the map in this game, uh, here, there's this mountain in um, the northeast, or northwest, sorry, and in A Link to the Past, there's no mountain in the northwest. The mountains are all over here. Uh, so this means that this game takes place on a larger area than in A Link to the Past. But uh, if you see in Zelda 1, it's a very, very small area called Lesser Hyrule that the game is taking place in. So it wouldn't make sense for Hyrule to grow and grow and grow and, and then suddenly shrink um, unless this is taking place uh, during the era of prosperity which, which is definitely a possibility but then wouldn't we see Zelda just using the Triforce to protect herself 
because the monarchs held the Triforce during the Era of Prosperity. So why would Zelda be trapped by Ganon? There's no, there's nothing stronger than the Triforce. Like, Zelda could just wish herself free. She could wish for the eradication of Ganon. If she knew about it, she could wish to for an end to Demise's curse and make sure that Ganon never returns. Uh, I mean, it's unlikely that she knows about that, but, but like, it just, it doesn't make much sense. Um, th there's some credibility to this theory, but also, why would the mountains... Okay, so, I should say, the snowy mountains here don't line up with any Zelda game. Period. Because if this is supposed to be after A Link Between Worlds, right? This was an active volcano area. And in Zelda 1, it's also, you know, a, a not snowy area. It's a warmer climate. Um, so if this is supposed to be the Death Mountain of the Downfall timeline, then why is there snow here? It's an active volcano in, in both you know, both areas, and there's not supposed to be any mountain here. Like, like if this was a mountain, if this already existed in the time of A Link Between Worlds, we would be able to see it because the game isn't completely top down. You know, you could look into the distance and see this over here. So it, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't line up. It, it just, it doesn't seem to work. Um, and then another theory is that it takes place after Four Swords Adventures. Why would this be? Well, number one, Ganon has the trident, but not the Triforce. We can see that. Um, he has his trident here. He's a pig Ganon. He's blue, which is something that we saw in um, Four Swords Adventures. Uh, he uses tennis, which, you know, is a thing in every timeline branch and every version of Ganon we've ever seen. Um, the trident is clearly what's spawning these rifts, and the trident scene in, um, Four Swords Adventures, it is the source of Ganon's power, like, because he doesn't have any of the pieces of the Triforce, uh, in Four Swords Adventures, so his power actually comes from the trident, unlike in the Downfall Timeline games, where uh, he's just... A powerful Gerudo sorcerer or in a link to the past where he has full Triforce um, or it I think in uh, Zelda 1 he has a piece of the Triforce I think power um, so yeah and then another thing to note here is the presence of both the lake and the river Zora so in the Downfall Timeline and Four Swords Adventures, there are these River Zora. They are enemies uh, for the most part, except for a couple of um, exceptions in A Link to the Past and A Link Between Worlds. Um, and then these are the Lake Zora, which we see in every other Zelda game that features the Zora. So, um, it, in the Oracle games, it's explained that the Lake Zora left Hyrule because of the imprisoning war, and the River Zora stayed behind. And so that's why the Zora that we see in the Downfall timeline are mostly enemies, um, because uh, the noble or kind left, you know. Um, so uh, I could see this being used as like evidence that this is downfall timeline, but it's not like the River Zora don't exist in the other timelines. It's just that we don't see them anywhere in Hyrule, you know, like it's totally possible that while the Lake Zora evolved into the Rito in the adult timeline, it's totally possible that the River Zora already existed and survived and are somewhere else um, other than the Great Sea or New Hyrule, which we see in Spirit Tracks, um, because we these aren't like this isn't like they're evolving into the River Zora. As far as I know, they're two totally separate things, um, long sundered, you know, before Ocarina of Time, 
because we only see the Lake Zora in Ocarina of Time. So the River Zora are somewhere. We just aren't aren't exactly sure where. Um, another thing to note here is the Great Deku Tree. Um, so the Deku Tree does not exist anywhere in the Downfall timeline uh, that I can remember. Um, you know, Ganondorf cursed the Deku Tree to die, and presumably he would have destroyed the Deku Tree sp uh, sprout after killing Link um, if he won, which is what the Downfall timeline is. Um, it, it doesn't really make sense that he would be here unless it's a different timeline branch. Now, we can see in Twilight Princess the remains of the old Deku Tree, um, but we don't see any Deku Tree himself, and I don't think that the Deku Tree appears in Four Swords Adventures either. So, this is kind of a bit of a mystery, and by the way, if anyone suggests that this is adult timeline, because that's the timeline that we do know for sure the Deku Tree still exists in. The thing about the adult timeline is that at the end of the Wind Waker, uh, King Daphne's Nohance and Hyrule wished for the for Hyrule to be flooded forever, number one, so it wouldn't make sense to have all these geographic similarities to a link to the past if Hyrule was flooded forever. Number two, Ganon is not dead, so he can't reincarnate, but he's sealed by the Master Sword, and no one can get to the Master Sword because it's stuck under the ocean. And before you say, well, someone could scuba dive down there or something. It's not just a normal flood. This isn't like a, a huge body of water that just, you know, behaves normally. This thing is protected by a Triforce Wish. Like, that's the most powerful thing in the Zelda series. The only thing that could undo a Triforce Wish is another Triforce Wish. And the problem with that is that at the end of the Wind Waker, we see the Triforce returning to the Sacred Realm, but the entrances to the Sacred Realm, well, they're, they're all gone in the adult timeline because they're flooded by Hyrule. The Triforce in that, in that game, or in that um, timeline, it is like a, a um, key, if you leave your keys in your car, right? That, that's what it's like. Um, so we'll never see Ganon ever again in the adult timeline. We'll never see the Triforce again, most likely, and we'll never see Hyrule again. Um, King Daphne is, knew what he was doing, and he he drowned Hyrule forever, and it's gone. Um, so this cannot be adult timeline for sure. Um, now there is one possibility that I think makes the most sense, and that is. If you shift the timeline around a little bit so that the split happens at the Minish Cap, where in one timeline um, you have Four Swords, Four Swords Adventures, and then Echoes of Wisdom, and then the Downfall timeline. And in another branch you have Ocarina of Time, and then uh, the Child timeline minus Four Swords Adventures, and the Adult timeline, then Almost everything works because you could still have the imprisoning war in between Echoes of Wisdom and uh, A Link to the Past. Um, there's no problems with like Four Swords Adventures not making any sense. Like, why was Vati reappearing so early in Four Swords but then sealed for thousands of years and doesn't appear at all in the adult timeline? Um, there's lots and lots of problems with the way that Four Swords Adventures is placed, and uh, I'll link a Nintendo Black Crisis video that partially explains it, but that doesn't even cover the full scope of it. There's so many things about that game that just don't make any sense and can't really be anywhere in the timeline. So I think that this game could be a sequel to Four Swords Adventures and a prequel to A Link to the Past. This is a world where Ganon doesn't have the Triforce. His power comes from the Trident. He was sealed in the Four Sword. Um, uh, the Master Sword is still resting in its original pedestal from Skyward Sword. It hasn't been used um, since Skyward Sword. Um, th this would mean that um, 
try. This is something that I just thought of. In A Link to the Past, the Triforce actually speaks to Link. It calls itself the essence of the Triforce. And this doesn't happen in any other Zelda game to my knowledge. So maybe try is actually the essence of the Triforce. Um, yeah, so m my opinion on this is that Nintendo probably intends it to be in the downfall timeline. And I think that moving the split to the Minish Cap, which Nintendo is almost certainly not going to do, would make the most sense. Um, but come on, it's Nintendo, right? We're, they're not supposed to make sense. When, when have they ever made sense? On this, whenever the game comes out. Um, I can't promise that it will be soon after the game comes out. I have a very, very busy fall already. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe, because it's free. Take care.